Hey guys, I am going to show you guys today how to do blooming gel nail art that is perfect for Halloween. These are the four blooming gel designs that I'm going to show you guys how to do today. The first one being the red chrome croc print. You're going to start off with a black gel polish base. My favorite is from Venalisa. It's super pigmented. And then go in with your chrome. You can use any color chrome. I just did red because I think it looks a little spooky with the black. Once the chrome is all rubbed in, apply a thin layer of your blooming gel and do not cure this layer. You are going to put the black gel polish right over top of the wet blooming gel. Paint thicker lines straight down the center and then you'll go in with smaller lines on the sides. Make sure to cure for 60 seconds and then go in with your top coat. The next design are these cute little ghosts. This one is my absolute favorite. This one starts with a black base as well and then go in with your blooming gel after that's cured. Take a dotting tool and then you're going to take white gel polish and just dot two circles onto the nail. Take a detail brush and with a very light hand, I just do little strokes downward to kind of feather out the bottom. If you don't like the style of the first one, you can feather out the bottom into a slanted V versus just straight down. And I personally think this one's a little cuter. After you're done with that and have cured it, you're gonna go in with black gel polish and make eyes and a mouth, cure that, and then go in with your top coat. The third design is a spider, and you're gonna go in with a white gel polish base, cure that, do the blooming gel layer, and then go in with the dotting tool, make a big circle, and then a smaller circle. Go ahead and cure that so it doesn't spread too much. Do another thin layer of blooming gel, paint one half of the legs, cure that, another layer of blooming gel, and then the other half. You really don't wanna try to get the whole spider done in one sitting with the blooming gel, cause it'll just be, it'll be a mess. After everything is cured, I'm going back in with gel polish, but no blooming gel this time, just to go over the legs and make them a little more detailed. The last design is this spider web. It has a black base, and then you're gonna go in with your blooming gel, of course. Take some white gel polish and make a spider web. This is going to look messy, that's okay. We will make it look neater in the end. When painting the arches of the spider web, it does look a little separated, so you'll see that after I get the arches painted on, I go back over the three lines to make them look more connected. After that's cured, I'm gonna go back in with my white gel polish, but no blooming gel this time, and just go over those lines to make it look a little more detailed and less messy. So those are it. I hope that was easy to follow. And if you recreate any of these or use them in a set, please tag me in them. I would love to see. And if you guys have anything else that you would like a tutorial on, just let me know.